Tomorrow is Juneteenth, a federal holiday commemorating the emancipation of the last enslaved African Americans in the United States. But ceremonies are already underway across the county. CBS 8's Alex Sly joins us live in University Heights. Alex, how are people honoring the holiday there? Yeah, tonight. Um, there are Juneteenth flags waving all across the county, including here at San Diego Unified School District office, and a few other flags went up today as well. Now here we are, 200 years later, still celebrating and enjoying this day. On June 19th, 1865, slaves in Galveston, Texas, were told they were free nearly two and a half years after President Lincoln signed the Emancipation Proclamation. Can you imagine waiting that long to find out that you're free? It's a reminder of how important it is to never give up on fighting for what's right. San Diego Unified School District raised the Juneteenth flag today, celebrating with students, staff, and the community. Juneteenth is about celebrating freedom. To me, freedom is being able to go to school, play lacrosse, go to the beach, and do things that everyone is able to do. We are lucky because we don't really know what it means to have our freedom taken away. The flag representing more than just history. It has a star that represents the future and the progress that our people have made. And it also has the red and the blue to symbolize that we are part of America as well. Sweetwater is another school district with a Juneteenth flag. Today it was raised for the second year in a row. It declares the Sweetwater District's commitment to recognizing the unique tragedies and triumphs of black Americans in the past and black contributions to the present and the future. And for the first time, a Juneteenth flag is waving in the sky of Lemon Grove outside the city hall. I actually pushed for the county of San Diego to declare Juneteenth, a holiday and a day of service, specifically in the city of Lemon Grove. And today, it was quite an honor to raise the flag. These flags recognizing the holiday in San Diego County as we learn, celebrate and honor an important piece of history. And last night, a Juneteenth flag was raised at the Chula Vista City Hall during a Juneteenth celebration. Marcel and Anna. Now, Alex, are any of these places having events tomorrow or was it just today? Well, some of them only had it today because they're actually closed tomorrow in recognition of the holiday. But the Lemon Grove mayor did tell me that they'll be having a moment of silence at 6.30 p.m. tomorrow night at Traganza Park. All right, Alex, thank you for that update. Thanks for getting the word out.